Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Ashley. I'm Amy. We're Martin Midlife Misadventures. Tell them what we have. Finally. Uh, finally, we have a prepper pantry haul. We sure do. $32 and 10 of it was just for one item. <laughs> and it's technically not prepper pantry, but we just had to share it with you. Yeah. Are you ready to get started? Oh, and we have some other clips I'll show you of the last couple days and some shenanigans with our dog. Man, oh man. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, friends, $31.34 for this haul. We have a 12-ounce container of these semi-sweet chocolate chips, $3.50. $2 for this Betty Crocker uh, fudge brownie mix. $2.85 for 5 pounds of flour. $3 for a 12-pack of toilet paper. And $5 for a 6-pack of the paper towels. We got uh, butter at two different places. From our local grocer, it was $4.99. So we looked at Family Dollar, and they had it for $4.75. So Amy went ahead and got a second one. So $10 for two pounds of butter. And we don't have any. We are absolutely 100% out of regular butter. So I'm, I'm very grateful that we have that now. And we got a big old family size box of Cheerios. How many ounces is this? One pound, two ounce box, $5.25 for the grand total of thirty-one thirty-four. Tell everybody what you're doing and why. I'm cleaning our gross dog because... Uh, she rolled in a dead deer. No joke. She brought a foot back and I hollered at her so she dropped it and was like humiliated or and no. I, put, I put her collar on her and the leash, and I told her, show me where you got that. Man, she took me right to it. Poor yeah. baby. Dead deer. What are we going to do with you? Huh? No. What are we going to do? You got stinky. And we don't have a bathtub. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at this. Got it all, you just like rolled in the whole cavity or what? Yep. She's it was so funny though, she took me right to it. <laughs> you show me what you did. Where did you get that? <laughs> oh, she knows it stinks. What did you do? Maybe some vinegar water? Yeah, let's do that. All right, everybody, I just wanted to let you know, Ryan got washed down with warm water and vinegar. We used my homemade apple cider vinegar, and what a difference that made. Once she got dried, we brushed some uh, cornstarch through her hair, and that really, really made a difference. And now, when the weather gets a little warmer, because it's just too cold at the moment, we're going to take her over to Grandpa and Mom's and give her a proper bath. But man, that's the first time we've ever had our dog, who's almost three years old, roll in an animal carcass. Oh, oh, I'm sure it won't be the last time. Anyway, the butter. $10 is what we paid for two pounds. I'm not complaining. We live in a rural area. The price has never gone down for us. We've never had a sale. But the other dairy products are now going way up. All of them. The cheese, the yogurts, the creams, all of them, 100% in our area, are going up. The uh, breads, the little generic loaf of bread you used to be able to get for $0.99, cents, $3. $3. I can bake 10 loaves of bread for three dollars so that's why i'm not i'm not purchasing that stuff anymore because it's just too hard on our budget and believe me we have a tight budget that's why we've tried to stay to the twenty dollars a week it's been over three years now guys we finally have a nice manageable stockpile not expired food everywhere in our house we're rotating and it just feels right it's manageable we've got states right now because of this eclipse calling and uh, putting out notifications telling Texas did this telling their people there could be pa they're anticipating power outage that they need two weeks worth of food and water that's concerning when they're saying that an eclipse could cause all this so 
Just get prepared, friends. Get prepared and be ready to stay home. I'm a firm believer when they start telling you something could happen, it means something probably will. Hopefully not. We're praying that it doesn't. But just be safe, okay? Have what you need at home at least two weeks worth because that's what they're putting out there, okay? And just make sure you're able to stay put and feed your family because that's all that's going to matter if there's a mega emergency, okay? Keep stacking it to the rafters, everybody. Do not stop. Slow and steady wins this race. I believe that with all of my heart. We love you all so incredibly much, and we are going to be talking to you really soon. God bless you.